well. We have a little different setup here as I just felt like doing the reading from the couch. Some of you know I've recently quit smoking and though I don't have extreme withdrawals, I do feel a little bit sleepy. So maybe that is a withdrawal symptom, I'm not sure. I just know energetically, though I'm very alert, aware, and in tune, I am a bit tired today. So there we go, okay? This is going to be a pick a card, and it's going to be about your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions, kind of all wrapped up in one. So this will be message A. It's, it's not really pick a pile. It's A, B, and C. So we're starting off with the Queen of Wands here, and clearly this person, uh, first message I get is that they admire you, and... Um, this person feels like they really hurt a very beautiful, loving, soulful woman. So you may be dealing with the masculine. I just see that this person is quite aware that they kind of dined and dashed on your dreams or your plans you had, like they invested, and by the looks of it, gone. Um, I'm also seeing that it may not have even been to do with another situation. This just may be something that this person did, something that happened in this connection, okay? So let's see what else we have coming out here. Yeah, Six of Wands, Queen of Wands. I feel like you honestly are such a beautiful soul, and I have the Sun card at the bottom in a masculine form. Um, this person couldn't handle your brightness. This person couldn't handle just what a divine soul you are. And this person, unfortunately, though they may have some great qualities to them, they were wearing a mask, whether it has to do with their feelings or not sure yet. We have to get some more, but they were definitely wearing a mask. I feel like it was more than just their feelings that they were masking. It was what they felt able to do Let's see, yeah. Possibly some of you wanted a pregnancy um, and that didn't happen, or maybe this person felt like they can't give you a pregnancy. I'm also seeing that, you know, that's a very strong message. This person may have felt like they could not give you a pregnancy or they were afraid to do that. Interesting. So let's see what else we get here. This person just may also not have been able to invest in you the way you want. Um, maybe you wanted a partnership. You wanted a marriage. I see this person was more in the energy of being single. So how did this person feel about you? Definitely happy. Um, but I am seeing again with this card sticking out, like this person didn't or wasn't prepared to put in the work into a relationship. Um, though this person definitely has strong feelings for you, I think they chose to instead, you know, let it go to suffer, to take their own suffering. And they're very aware. I'm seeing the eight of swords or no, the nine of swords and the five of cups again. They're very aware that they took a chance and ended this. Um, I don't even think this person spoke to you. I think they just left. And I do feel like this may have shattered you uh, one way or another, at least temporarily. And this person is very aware of that. And it's unfortunate because it's like this person was like, no, I'll end it and I'll suffer. I'll take the suffering. But I don't know if they realize so much um, about suffering you could have been going through as well, right? So let's see what else is coming out. I think this person thought because you're such a beautiful spirit, you're such a beautiful energy, um, you'll be able to handle this separation, you'll be able to prosper, you'll be able to fly high. And so they just left without a word is what I really get here about this person. So let's change the deck and see what else we get.
So the action this person is taking at this moment is really um, hiding, going in seclusion, lying to their self, lying to their peers, lying to anyone that sees them and acting as though everything is okay. But deep inside, they know they're brokenhearted. At the bottom of the deck, we have both the Three of Swords and the Tower. You know, this person is brokenhearted. I don't think they show that to anyone. They don't show. Look what fell on the floor, the Ace of Cups. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Um, this person may just act as though money is most important. Um, you know, love is, is doesn't matter. So I do see that this person definitely feels like one day you're going to have it all. You're going to have a perfect marriage. You're going to have a perfect um, love life. Someone's going to spend lots on you. Why did this person walk away? Because I really see like they kept it to themselves and just kind of disappeared. Here's the nine of pentacles. Queen of wands again. It's like they thought you were better off on your own. They thought that you would be just fine, you know. Uh, little did they know, whatever they did by walking away, I believe that it did really throw you off a bit. Um, it left you hanging on. It left you searching for the truth. It left you wondering how this person ever even felt about you, if any of it was real, or was it all just for sexual pleasure or for some of you you may be wondering was it all just for the money this actually left you very down does this person know that at all like do they have any clue ah <sighs> the name of wands i feel like this person is Choosing to think you're okay and just dwelling kind of in their own sadness. We have the Three of Swords here again with the Tower still. I feel also for some of you, this person won't dare look at you. They won't dare watch your social media. They act like they're unable to. Um, not only because they'll desire you even more, but because it hurts too much. And they would want to come towards you right away if they did. And they know that. I do feel that there is a bit of a blockage. So let's see what this is about. It really just could be their themselves with the high priestess. Um, there could also be a family situation that they are tied to that they may not want to talk about or break free from or not be able to break free from. So what was this person's intentions in the beginning at least, right? In the beginning... Uh, I do feel that there may have been some false intentions that really did involve intimacy, right? And that was their intentions, keeping secrets in the beginning. Um, however, you know, keeping secrets about maybe a family as well, they didn't want to talk about. However, the true feelings of this person, I'm seeing King of Swords stick out, is this person wanted you. This person looked at you as perfect. But I do see, unfortunately, this person did have karmic ties to another situation. And it's more financial than anything. But that was keeping them trapped and, you know, not moving. So will anything ever come of this, you know? You know, it's interesting. I do see this person wants to come towards you. I do see this person wants to offer you love. But I feel that they feel it's just a fantasy. They feel like I can't do it. What can I offer you? You remember I mentioned some of you, the viewers, may have had the money. Um, this could be an issue in this situation. This person may feel like they're just not good enough for you and unable to offer you anything besides passion. This person has a lot of regrets in their own life, probably for the actions they took or didn't take, for the fears that they allowed to hold them back and they're quite aware of. This person may have also or may also be stuck in, you know, a job that they don't have to be in necessarily. 
but they're too afraid to branch out. How does this person see you? Like energetically, we have the Six of Cups and the Judgment card, very strong, very honorable, very lucky, very happy. And I believe this person sees you as someone that has let this situation go because they think you feel, it's like they almost think that you just hate them or that you don't want anything to do with them now. Let's pull some more cards. I don't want to know why is that, but they're feeling like, you know, you don't want anything to do with this now. This person may have started going, you, I should say, sorry, you may have um, started getting advice or talking to your friends, um, the devil, and I feel that your friends would be the one to tell you this person didn't love you or that doesn't love you, that you're just imagining things, that this person stunted your you know, whatever you were on the route, route to doing, um, you may have people saying, no, don't go back to this person. They hurt you so badly that they didn't offer you anything good. Instead, uh, people may have told you, like, they just tricked you or they just hung you or they just kept you hanging. I even get it that some of your friends may say this person's a narcissist. So this could be why this person doesn't want to come back. This person has self-esteem issues as well that you're dealing with. So what will happen here? Seeing the Ace of Pentacles, this is about a new beginning in general, but it's also energetically, I'm seeing you kind of putting something away, putting it back on the shelf, doing your own thing. I actually see someone coming in that may surprise you. They come in and they help you. Maybe they help you get through this or move away from this storm or this energy. Uh, maybe they revive you or help you revive. Maybe they help you get your finances in order. I do see someone coming in when you least expect it. And maybe, you know, when you need it, when you truly need it. I see you being very picky as well. But I do feel what comes in for you is going to be lucky. Um, it's going to take you out of your sadness or it's going to, to remind you, you know, you are beautiful. You are worthy. You are deserving of what you desire of all the beauty in the world. You are still that beautiful person. You may have been dating this person as well, like actually committed dating the emperor energy. I just thought I saw the word perfect. And once again, it tells me this person thought you were absolutely perfect. I do feel that there were some differences, though I'm picking up like you were, were the different one. I just feel like there may have been some differences, whether in the community, financially, like I said, even possibly psychically, like maybe this person felt like, you know, everything. They can't keep a secret from you. Maybe that disturbed them a little. Maybe because you saw right through them. You were able to communicate their own truths to them that they tried to avoid. You brought a lot of happiness into this person's life. Very magical energy. I do see a beautiful possibility here that it just looks like it didn't happen. And this person is lost now. This person is lost without you. Oh, wow. There's a lot of regret this person has because they don't speak up and because they don't take the actions. And I do actually feel like for some of you, you, you have even moved on and started 
um, a new relationship and possibly having kids. And for some of you, you've started a relationship with yourself and started making money and saving money and being very happy. Of course, you're not going to let someone in that that's poisonous. Um, and I'm not saying this person is poisonous anymore. I'm not sure about that. But I see you enjoying yourself. I see you making peace, making yourself happy and making money. I see that you're back into this position of happiness. And I think you have a partner right now or someone who is a great match for you already. And it really comes back down to you loving yourself so much. So I do feel you gained your courage back and gained your energy back. And I also feel that you have a great masculine energy right around you. And unfortunately, this person that, you know, hurt you because they were technically, <laughs> look at the card that came out here right now. They were technically enabled to be honorable to you. This person still wanted to either live a party life or just was interested in pleasurable activity. Let me just take a good look at this. For some of you, you experimented a lot with this person and you had a lot of fun with this person. Or, you know, you tried out what they liked and you didn't like it you didn't feel comfortable there um, so that could have been a part of it for some of you you know Anything more here? what else do you need to know let me see <clears throat> it's over this is the five of swords I feel like where you were both not speaking before, still hanging on um, to each other one way or another, I feel like you've, it, it's done. I feel like you finally let it go. The seven of swords and the three of swords are below that. You let go of the pain. I don't think you were lying to yourself. Maybe you were. Maybe you were thinking like this isn't over. It will have a turnaround. But I honestly feel that what this person put you through, and possibly, like I said, some of you have gone to counseling. You are, you're off. You're on to another marriage, or you're off to a marriage that is going to fulfill every, everything for you. Okay, so thank you. I will see you soon. Um, stay strong for this person, for whoever this is resonating with. Stay strong. Obviously, you're doing well now. Okay, just gonna tidy these up and get on to the next pile. If this reading did help you, please like it. If you're not subscribed yet, I would love for you to subscribe so I can get a bigger community of people and, you know, reach out to you guys. I also have Patreon, so feel free to join. Okay, hi everyone. We're on to pile two. I'm going to be looking at your person's uh, thoughts about you, feelings about you, the intentions. We'll see what comes up. This is a different setup here because I just wanted to be extra comfortable right now. I sit at my desk for about eight hours a day. <laughs> I know it sounds unbelievable, but it is the truth. <laughs> um, sometimes I look at the clock and it's 10 p.m. and I've been there since you know I woke up pretty much after I did my routine. So let's see what's going on. Mind me if I sound a little low energy. I am very aware, very alert, very in tune. 
but I believe that the quitting smoking is catching up a little. I thank the universe for helping me get through the beginnings with such ease. But I, I take it, you know, it happens. Withdrawals or whatever it may be. I don't feel like I have withdrawal, but occasionally I do think about it. <laughs> so let's get in pile two. Thank you so much for joining me. Please do like the video if it helps you. Please do subscribe because right now I could really use your help with that. And I don't ask for it always. And I really should remind you guys that it helps us get more people on the channel. All of us, all YouTubers. Okay, so for pile two, let's see what the first card is flipping over. We have the five of swords, and I'm seeing the three of swords and the death card here. So it's definitely the end of heartache in a situation view, okay? Someone is finally realizing this and not trying to fight it anymore. It looks like they've accepted the situation for what it is. And it could be even that you've walked away from this person or you're calling quits or you're calling an ending. There could have been an air sign and a water sign I'm seeing those energies. So let's see what else we have. What's going on with this person? What's coming up here? The one thing I know is that someone wants to put an ending to heartache, okay? Something has changed in their circumstances, and it could have been involving a wife. I'm seeing the Ace of Pentacles stick out as well. And I did see the Hierophant there. Let's just grab it. So you may have been in a third-party situation, and it may have been quite heart heartbreaking. It could be you walked away, or it could be a natural cause and effect that caused the ending of that situation. Tell us more about that. Let's see about the past a little. Let's get a little past energy. What's this? Whoa. <laughs> so. We have the Queen of Swords here. Now, honestly, this is one of the angriest Queen of Swords ever. This could be what happened after the divorce. This could be that someone got a huge financial settlement here because she's literally counting her money. But I feel that the person that left this situation is actually happier, maybe because now they can come back to you or they can come to you or... Or they're just free now. And that alone is bringing a lot of happiness. Let's see what this card is. Yeah. The Knight of Wands to the Ace of Wands. This person can finally go for who they love. I feel like, you know, it's you, the Empress energy. They want to come to you. You may have been waiting for this person to come in. You may have been waiting for a divorce with the Justice card and the Four of Cups. And, you know, you see clearly this person is sitting at the window Wondering, you know, when is things going to change? When is this person going to come in? Emotional. Full of love, too. Like, you are still full of love. Waiting to share it. This person is racing towards you by the look of it. If you were waiting for this person to have a divorce, it's, it's very likely this has happened now. And that the money has even been divided. Wow. And now this person can return to you. This person definitely has their eye on returning to you. You may have already got communication or this person may be about to communicate with you. And it really comes down to saying, hey, I'm not hung anymore. I'm not stuck anymore. I'm not frozen anymore. I know what I want. I know that you are special. See their intentions towards you. This deck. So, oops, dropping here. So, the moon cards in reverse. This person wants to be honest with you about things they didn't tell you before, involving a third party situation, um, involving an unhappy marriage, involving manipulation. Maybe this person was the manipulator. 
Maybe they were manipulating the situation in order to keep finances going. Whatever it was that they were doing, they were feeding the devil when they very well, you know, knew. And they've walked away now, or, or this is over, whatever it is. I think there was a battle. I think there was a court case uh, that wasn't easy. And I do feel like maybe that the woman, if the woman was left, uh, Queen of Swords energy, um, got a lot of financial gain from this, from this settlement. Look at the justice card. Sorry, judgment. But yeah, okay, so that's over with now, right? Is it still relevant or what? No, it's not. It's actually, it's perfect that it's over because now this person can start fresh. But they're a bit... Well, no, they're not a bit. They're walking away from that is what I feel. I feel like they're walking away from the sneakiness and the lies. And they're ready to actually be honest. There's something here about really being honest. This person may come in and tell you they realize you are their person. You are the one that they truly love. You are the one that has their heart. That they are sorry for leaving you in confusion. And that all of the drama is over. But I still feel that this person is a bit scared about coming in. They may not be ready yet. They may feel like they're still being watched or like this Queen of Swords is still in the picture in one way or another. More on the intentions. So this person does plan to come in and... Only after they're fully over the other situation. I see this person wants to return. I think this person may want to actually. Uh, let me clarify that for a second. Have a restart. But I was actually picking up that this person would want to marry you. Um, but this person is still really feeling the effects of whatever has happened. Okay. Like. It has a lingering effect on this person. I can see that. And that is affecting them from Hangman, full card. Um, full card, Knight of Wands, Two of Cups. This is affecting them from coming in and, and making having a fresh start, making a commitment to you. They also now have a fear of... Of marriage as much as I think this person loves to be married or loves that feeling but they are terrified at the same time came out here. the five of pentacles in reverse it's like they don't want to lose everything again they worry about putting anyone on a pedestal now pedestal still whatever don't correct me please I, I cannot pronounce it. I've had actually had someone email me. Please do not waste your time. So yeah, they're you know they're worried about putting you on a pedestal. Ah, so what is this about the world? They do want a new beginning. They really do. But there's something going on. Let's see. They really do. It could be a beautiful love, this connection. There may be something that happens within this year. Um, but it would be like almost like two children starting over again, you know? Oh, wow, you have the Four of Wands. And it's very marriage energy. And I'm also seeing the Queen and the Queen of Cups. Two Queen, Cup and Pentacles. Um, but I just feel like you may be dealing with someone who's actually very wise and very strong and very experienced, okay? Um, the person you're dealing with may be a, a beautiful soul, a beautiful nurturer, provider. It's like the force behind everything, the force to not be reckoned with, you know? So what is this we have here? Let's see what this is about. Someone has some something they're afraid of. It's almost like they don't believe they can have everything they dream and desire. It's like they can't, they're worried about not being able to have everything they dream and desire. And it may actually be you, the viewer. 
you may be thinking quite negatively about this situation. I see the cardinals in the background, and I know some of the, some of you are into that, into the birds and the signs. But let me just see what I'm picking up here. It's almost like, so someone has a fear. You may have a fear of trusting what this person says when they come into your life. That could be the fear. Like, is it real? Are they telling me the truth? Can I believe them? You don't know. You don't know. Because I feel like this person, this is the lover's card. I feel like this person, um, you know, not only are they going to tell you, yes, I've had a divorce. But it's like, come with me. This person wants to take you away. Um, into a new a new a new time they really want you to follow them the king of wands energy here but you don't know if you can trust what this person is saying i just feel like this person will say you can trust me come with me let's start a family family or let's start something real come to my home live with me. and you may be a little bit afraid of of taking that chance eight of cups and walking away from what you already have the cups here are actually facing down She's just about to put one last cup down. It also looks like there's a cab outside waiting. So I feel this is saying you are actually going to return after some thought about it. I do feel like you are going to go with this. Now, I don't know if I said this in the first reading or not, but I'm picking up this like, you know, you're not going to miss your wedding. You're not going to miss your opportunity here. This is, I think, someone you've waited for a very long time. You've had a very deep connection with, that you love very deeply. You may have been the one to cut it off due to the third party and due to this person not, not doing what they said they were going to do. Look at the card that just fell out, the Three of Swords, leaving you in confusion, the Seven of Cups. So it may have been you who said, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, type of the energy. Ace of Pentacles here in reverse, because you weren't getting, you weren't seeing, you weren't seeing what this person said they were going to do. You weren't seeing it. Um, so instead of waiting for them to drop the other situation, you said, I'll drop this connection. I'll make the decision for us. I'll go. And I feel like you had friends that were approval approving of this. But meanwhile, I'm not sure that you truly wanted it. I feel like your friends were like, yeah, leave, leave. Don't, don't go back or don't listen or don't trust because of the past actions. Oh yeah. I honestly believe you actually have some friends that are jealous around you. So you need to watch out for that. Um, see what this is. Oh yeah, the devil, the tower, the judgment, the death card. You know, if you wanna be with this person, be with them. If you want to take a chance, take a chance. If you have friends that turn your back on you for giving this another chance and possibly, you know, who knows what can happen. Yeah, sure, you could hang yourself. Sure, you could you could have a, a crappy outcome here. You could end up back in the same spot as before. But if you don't do it, if you don't take a chance, how will you know? And personally, from what I see, I see this person and you have a beautiful connection you're like your yin and yangs. And I also see people will back away from you once you choose to go for this. I saw it. Remember, you had the taxi cab there. Wow. Again, these two cards came out uh, totally separate times. Um, they came in the first pile as well. The Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. I think you're going to pick up where you left off with this person. What's going to happen? You know, that's what I want to know. I see the Hierophant, the Queen of Cups. 
Wow. Let's see. You're you're gonna be ending up in your dream. This is what I get. This is things you sorry, one second, I just dropped a card. You're gonna it's like you're gonna feel one day like, is this a dream? I prayed for this. I prayed for this day. I prayed for this marriage. I'm seeing like Mr. and Mrs. here. You're going to be saying that I prayed for this. Is this a trick? Is this for real? What do they want in here? What does this person truly, truly want? And we have the King of Swords. So this person, you know, with the hangman, they want to release this procrastination. But I'll tell you the truth. It's your friends. You have friends around you. You need to watch out. Don't let them. Don't let them keep you in the dark or tie you up or... I'm sorry, but you do have to watch some people around you, okay? Let me get a, a message for that. You really do. I'm not joking. Your friends, you know, the thing is with your friends, they're trying to blind you from seeing that you are, in, like, you are right. I don't know if your friends know you're right or they think they're doing good by you. I do see some literally haters energy there. Um... But I think for some of them, they think they are helping you. And what they think, like, they're keeping you in fear. So they think that they're helping you. I don't think they think they're helping you by keeping you in fear. But they are keeping you in fear. And the reason is, is your friends have dark energy. Some of them, there's someone, specifically two to three people. There's one of them that you, you know, may actually be somewhat educated or wise or have info in these type of situations, but she is feeding your worst fears as well. Unfortunately, because of her own self, her own beliefs, her own past, her own um, past life karma as well. They're trying to stop you from moving towards your love, your true love. This is someone from your past. Um, this is someone you have gone through a lot with. Okay, maybe because you were waiting, who knows? I feel like you both have gone through a lot together. I feel like you've even escaped something together. I don't know if it was danger. I don't know if it's this marriage, Ten of Swords here. I really feel like something happened with the two of you. Maybe you saved this person one time or something like that, you know? Maybe you warned them of something. So final message for this, let's see what's coming up here. The Ten of Pentacles. Let's see what else we have here. And the Five of Pentacles. You're going to have to kind of really open your eyes to some of the people you have around you. Because some of them are literally robbing you, okay? Right behind your back. It's backstabbing. It could even be a man and women. I do see women here uh, strongly because they're jealous of a man that you're with, right? Like they're jealous of your love connection. Hang on to what you have. There's like people sneaking around or troll energy, trying to guide you. Please don't listen. You know that. You know who you can listen to. You know who you can trust. You can trust. If you want to know how you know you can trust someone, and I feel like there's actually, it's your own person you can trust out of everything. Because when you have something going bad, going down, there's going to be someone here that's actually going to either replace what you've lost or help you clean it up or or just truly be of help to you and that's how you know the people you can trust okay they're gonna say don't worry let me carry this for you don't worry let me bring this for you let me show you this let me help you here let me call the person for you let me find you something 
And as for the other people, and some of them may be family, maybe even a father, you need to cut these people out because they're, I'm hearing torturing you with your thoughts. Like they're giving you things to overthink about, okay? So thank you, Pile 2. I really appreciate you. If you got anything from this reading, I would greatly appreciate your support by just liking the video. It's as simple as that. And it does a lot for all YouTubers, especially right now. Some weird stuff going on with YouTube and the analytics. So hopefully they clear that up. But until then, I would love for you guys to like the videos. You can also support me by joining Patreon if you're interested. Um, there's all different levels, including a 444. And all levels get access to all videos. And you can also support this channel and myself and my mission by... Signing up for a reading, booking a reading. And what is my mission, if anyone wants to know? My mission, to make it somewhat clear, is to show the world that, you know, people that are into tarot, uh, people that are tarot readers, people that go to tarot readers are perfectly healthy, perfectly healthy-minded. Uh, we know how to use discerning discernment. We don't take every message um, and, you know, go to court with it. But we do use the messages we get to help us make decisions. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. From what experiences I've had, tarot has done nothing but help me. And my people that I've worked for. So, you know, thank you. Hey, hi, pile three. Thank you so much. Let's see what's going on with you and your person. Well, with your person. Um, their intentions, their feelings, thoughts, actions they may take. We'll see what comes up. It could be anything. Okay, first card we have is the High Priestess. So I'm getting right away. This is a power couple. And this is 100% sure my twin flame couple because I am seeing the Four of Wands here. Okay, so you've gone through a lot with this person already. I can see that. You may have known this person for quite some time. Oh, yeah, Nine of Cups here. I mean, you really have experienced this person is what I get. Ooh, the Ten of Cups. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I get that you and this person have a very deep love. For some of you, you will have this person's child. It could even be a secret child. I'll just put that out there. Um because I am seeing that this person does have someone else attached to them, does have someone else very clinging to them. Okay, it looks like it's a third party here for sure. Karmic situation. You may be very much so in the know that this is a special connection you have with this person, but I do see this person is also married, and this is... I've seen the Queen of Swords stick out. This is what's keeping the connection between you from solidifying. Okay, it's it's that's what it is. So let's see what else is here. How does person feel about you? How does person feel? Let's see what's going on here. So you have temperance. So this there's a strong energy here where you are like a very powerful being, okay? Not only are you probably psychic, you may have healing powers. You may have one of those magical touches. If you touch someone, they think about it for days. I mean, I had someone touch me once and I felt this man's energy. He just touched my hand. I felt his energy the whole day. And I just said, how can I do that? Because that is amazing. Um, but yeah, so it can happen. You may be very healthy as well, or just drink a lot of water. <laughs> you may be in a climate where climate where it's going from winter to spring now. Yeah, that's in here a few times. I feel like you and this person have had some great times together, okay? I'm just going to put that out there, like some really great times. The Empress Energy. Um, you and this person are divinely connected. I see the sun and the moon, but I'm telling you this person has in some ways 
really caused you to become the high priestess. I feel like you went through a whole transition with this person to get yourself in that spot where you are. And it involved a lot of letdowns and a lot of sadness and misery and confusion. A lot of endings, a lot of not knowing what's going on and having to stay strong. You may have actually started getting into tarot or using your psychic abilities during this time. You may have had an awakening where you realized, hey, I know more than I realize. I know what's going on here. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So what you knew... And, you know, this is in the middle of your transformation is you knew you love this person. You knew this person is the one and you knew they were stuck in a situation. Um, you've always known this person is your twin and you've had a lot of heartache here. I got to say, but I do understand the twin flame journey isn't easy. And not only that, it's part of it. Unfortunately, I don't know any twins personally. I know there must be. I know for sure there must be. I may know one actually, but I don't keep I don't keep in touch with them. But I don't know any twins that got together and you know it was easy breezy from that point on. I do know soulmates and it was easy breezy and it didn't stay too easy breezy. You know? I think I said some of you may have a kid and you may have a kid with this person or you may have a kid anyhow. And you had to stay strong, even though you had all this pain going on. Um, I just feel like at some point you used to think you were crazy. <laughs> like you're just like, how is this possible? How is this connection possible? How are these feelings possible? Why did the universe bring me someone involved in a situation already? Why did the universe end this? Why does this person keep on returning? I feel like you were in your head a lot about this love connection. And, you know, you're tied to this person. You're definitely near so far. Like, I'm just going to say it like you're, you are. You are the true definition of the twin flame or soulmate connection of the deep string tied connection, the contractual connection that you can't break from, you can't break away from that. You know, I realize that a lot of people in this position, they probably don't have the easiest lives. Like you've had to go through a lot and you have to be very strong. One thing that comes along with being a twin is you learn that you have to control yourself. You learn that you have to control your emotions. You learn um, or, or you be depressed or you will falter. Like, I don't know if that's a word, but you know what it means, just like me. So let's see what else. This person has so much love for you. This person wants to offer you so much look at this ace of pentacles but we have this marriage energy in the way um, judgment king of pentacles here this person is still wearing a mask of some sort so is this over this marriage um well, I'm going to say no, because I just looked down and I saw this. Seven of Pen or seven of Swords, it shows a third party. Um, it shows, you know, one person very happy in that green dress, like the High Priestess. And then this other person has, you know, someone hanging off of them. But this man may be walking away from that person. Because the Eight of Cups is next. Or this man uh, may have walked away from you. Okay, I feel like this man is walking away from that other person. I feel like there has been a separation, but let's see what else comes up. And I do feel this person will be coming to you. Even the Knight of Cups is there. 
Okay, so we have the death card and I'm asking, you know, did this person walk away? We have the six of cups here and there's only one person here and the queen of swords at the bottom. This tells me that either this person has gone through the divorce already or like separated or something has happened um, in a past relationship, right? Like in a marriage because the six of cups, it's only one person now. So this person left, ended the past relationship and even the way I laid the cards down, the death card is going to, you know, it came over here. It took him out. And now we have this one person left with the Queen of Swords here. That's the divorced woman. And the card sticking out up above is Justice. So it's either this person is in the process of leaving or separating. I do feel that this person will walk away from that situation. Finally. Maybe this couple is divorced. Look at that. Queen of Wands. Maybe this couple is divorced, um, but they may have been residing in the same home or something. But I do feel that there's going to be a definite goodbye. And I do see this other person crying over it. Um, but it's probably just because they know this person's going to their happiness. You know, sometimes people don't realize that they don't want the person to be happy. I don't feel like this... This was a loving relationship. I'm seeing the tower. Um, the judgment card just fell out. I feel like this was very lessony, very karmic-y. And I do feel this person is returning to you. So this person's going to plan how they return because they feel they cannot just return. Um, I don't know. Maybe they don't have the energy or something like they need to, to give you something. This person feels like they need to give you something. Maybe they want you to know they're not lying. They want you to know they want to be with you. I just feel like this person's like, now what, how, how, how do I do this? How do I reunite? It could also be that this person is not quite ready yet to make decisions. They may just be clearing up their energy, but this person is definitely wondering how they can come and make an offer to you that you won't shut them down. And even, I feel like this person is, because basically they're coming to you now because this other situation's over. Yes, they love you. Yes, definitely. It's your twin. It's your soulmate. Um, and they want a new beginning here with the world card. But it's like, I don't know. I guess, I guess there's nothing wrong with it. They're coming forward to you now that something's over. I just feel like they feel about it. They have a, a feeling about it, you know? Like they need to do more. Like they need to have something good to offer you. Not sure what that's about. Well, they're definitely going to be offering you um, the truth. This moon card keeps on being reversed. Let's see what else we got here. Well, the truth is this person loves you. The truth is this person wants to be with you. This person wants to provide for you. I believe I already mentioned you may have a child with this person. And if you don't have a child, you may have a child on your own. Um, and this person actually wants to take care of your child. Some of you have a special needs child. And this person wants to help you straight up with that. They want this child to do very well in life or to be, to be strong and resilient and to live, you know, a full life regardless of their circumstances. This, I think this person is going to tell you. I feel like this person is going to open up to you and say that. Let's see what we have. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to offer you help. Um, this person wants to lift your spirit. This person wants to make you happy. This person is going to give you some sort of an offer. You're going to be thinking about it. I see that you're going to be thinking about that. Because you don't want to hurt anyone. And I think it's more about... Um, even maybe the child, you know, like it just, you don't want anyone getting hurt or 
or getting fooled or coming into an agreement about this. But I also feel for some of you, you say like to yourself, like it would be nice to have this help. It would be nice to have that. But you also got yourself in order is what I also see here. So you're almost like, who do I pick? What do I pick? What do I do here? You're contemplating, or you will be. Why? Why are you contemplating? This is your twin. I'm not joking. Like, why are you contemplating? Six of cups. Um, element of love. Element of cups here. And we have the queen of pentacles here. Or maybe it's the princess of pentacles. Um, maybe you feel like you've been doing things on your own. And you've been doing it so well. What else is this? Yeah, you're just really unsure. You don't want to be hurt is what I get. You want to protect yourself. So this is what the issue is. You're going to want to protect yourself for some reason. Let me take a good look at these. Like this is the love of your life. You know, this is your person you have a soul contract with. So <laughs> I understand you want to protect yourself. It's almost like you become the, the runner. You become the masculine energy. We always talk about running, protecting themselves, protecting their heart. Look what just came out, the Queen of Cups and the Three of Swords. You're truly protecting your heart. You have a fear here. You may have a fear of being dependent on this person now after you've gotten yourself in such a decent position and being tied to a situation. But so what? You know, why? What's this? What's this? Oh, you're worried about being lied to, being tied to a, a dishonest situation and having to carry the load. So I'm not sure if you already had experienced this in the meantime or something like that. Or maybe there was just too many lies. I feel like for some of you, you feel like you lost a dream. Um, but you don't realize it's back. Yeah, you feel like you lost a dream. The death card and the judgment card. You feel like you lost. And this talks about a dream here. And you don't believe it, right? But it is coming back. Look at the star card here. And it's like a shadow of a ghost. The ghost, this person may have ghosted you and now they're coming in for a reunion and you are very much so in your head because you don't want to be tricked. But if you focus on that, you do know what happens, right? So let's see what else we have. Yeah, it's time to get clarity for yourself, like to get clear on what you want, to remember that you are happy, you are stable, you are financially independent. Not to allow the darkness to come over you. Maybe get some professional advice if that's what you feel you need. Um, or maybe even just get answers from, you know, a reading of some sort or something like this. Maybe you want to protect your finances. Maybe you've come across some finances and you worry about this person, about marrying them. Oh, I'm seeing the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles dropping out. Eight of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Things may have really changed for you financially. It's behind here. Yeah, the initiate of wands. You may be worried you don't want this person to just come in for one thing only. But why do you think that of this person, to be honest? I want to know. Like, I don't know if they've given you any reason to truly think about that. But, you know, they did have this other situation. And it may still be a little relevant. I just feel like you've made such peace with yourself and with your life. That you probably are feeling like... I don't want anyone in here. I don't want anything to keep me stuck. I don't want anything to prevent me from moving forward, from getting what's good. 
So personally, I mean, this is your twin. I mean, it's up to you what you want to do. This person will be lost without you. This person knows they love you so much. They're going from like the page of wands energy um, to the element of swords. Like they're coming to truth and clarity to the initiative of wands. You know, to the novice of swords. They're really seeing this clearly. How much they want to be with you and how much they hope that you won't. They want you. They hope you won't walk away. But you actually are considering walking away. Um, you're very mature. You've come very far. And I don't think you trust this person. Not only that, I also get the energy that this person, I don't know, you may be much older now. Both of you. It's funny. <laughs> I'm getting the message for some of you. Your person may have erectile dysfunction. <laughs> I know that sounds so weird. Sorry. I'm not laughing, but whatever. It is true. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of love here. Okay, so what's one more message here? You can only, you know, make the decision you want. We have that truth energy, this person, you know. Coming forward to you, all single and happy. It's like this person clears their energy before they come to you. They, like, write everything out. They really plan this. And you're just easy breezy sipping on a beer on your porch with your cats. The cat's chasing a mouse outside. You got things in order. You're good. You protect yourself now. And you love yourself. So you're just like, why? What? What? What's the motivation to leave what I've created, to leave my community, to come over here? This is a lover's having a choice. I do feel you've built you know, this family for yourself. If you have a child, especially, you may have your mom, your child there to help you. So I hope that this helps in one way or another. I really appreciate you. Please leave a comment if you find that this may be your message. And I hope to see you for the Zodiac readings. Uh, I appreciate your likes and subscriptions if you haven't already. Tell me where you're from, please, because I just love hearing that. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Bye for now.